All right, guys, this question comes from Dave down in San Francisco, California, going to the University of San Francisco. He asks, what in the heck does the spleen do? So let's start the two-minute time clock. And as always, this is brought to you by SimpleNursing.com, the number one student nurse success site, helping over 40,000 nursing students get more success and a little bit less stress. So let's start that time clock, maestro. So the spleen has two main job functions. And the two main job functions is a warehouse for the WBC, the white blood cell army that helps give your body defense, as well as it's a recycling plant for old, dead red blood cells. Now, what are WBCs? So as mentioned before, WBCs are the white blood cells. Anytime your body gets sick and has a, what's known as immune response, your body sends out these white blood cells to help fight, right? So what happens when these white blood cells are not really being used in this military fashion? Well, they kind of lounge around in the spleen, and this is kind of their barracks, their army base, right? Now the second thing that the spleen does, it is a recycling plant for old red blood cells. So every six days, the body disposes of red blood cells. Now, what do red blood cells do in the body? Well, they're actually just little transporters, little rafts that help transport oxygen to the rest of the body. Now, on these little rafts of red blood cells, oxygen is transported with the hooks of what's known as hemoglobin. So anytime you're checking oxygenation, you're gonna check hemoglobin inside the laboratory values. But red blood cells just transport oxygen like little carrier trucks around the body. So when these trucks are old and dead and useless after six days, they go to the spleen to get digested and they turn into bilirubin. Now bilirubin hops on the bile bus, which is made by the liver, and that is excreted out of the body. Well folks, that's it. Two minutes of simplification. For an entire lecture series or to get your free trial to simplenursing.com, please click below inside the description box. And as always, to submit your random, wacky, crazy question of the week, please also click down below. There's a link there for you guys to submit your question. Each month, we randomly choose submissions. And maybe, just maybe, we'll choose you next. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching. And from everyone here at SimpleNursing.com, we thank you for learning and we thank you for viewing us on YouTube. Please do not forget to click down below in the description box for your free trial to all our videos. I will see you there, guys.